It's now time for our student athlete spotlight brought to you by the Riverhawk Club. And we're lucky to be joined by sophomore Willito Fernandez from the men's soccer team. Willito, thanks for taking the time with us. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, the team had an excellent season this past year. You guys won five of your last seven games. You ended up finishing third in the conference. You guys really ended up gelling and playing some of your best soccer at the end of the season. Yes, we did. It's just the fact that knowing that we have like lots of new kids, like we have so many freshmen starting the games, and they actually stepped up and helped us improve day by day at practice, day by day. When we stepped into the game, and then like in the beginning we were struggling, then when we got to actually like fit into a group and knowing that what we're playing for, we actually end up performing better and get some results that we need. And you personally, you were honored by taking home an honor on the first team, All-America East team. Not only that, you were the Fans' Choice Player of the Year in America East. What does it mean to you not only to be recognized by the coaches around the league, but by all the fans around America East as well? It means a lot to me. That shows clearly that I have someone supporting me. I have someone look up to me, someone that is like some people are looking that I'm trying to do my best to help myself, help the team, and help the community. And it's always a pleasure to win awards like that. It's always, it feels good when you have a great season and then people recognize you. Now you have played throughout the year, you played center back, you played some time in attacking mid, you played at center forward. You have so much versatility that you were able to bring not only from game to game, but also switch positions within a game as well. How important is your versatility to your overall game? I feel like it's really important knowing that the coach deposits so much confidence in me, like putting me up, up there and telling me to do things. And the fact that my teammates also like support me and trust me that I can do the job also makes me be more confident. And I just step on the field and try to do the best I can to help the team. Now you can play all three positions very well uh, for all three. Is there one that you prefer more than others? There's always one that you actually like to play. I would like to say striker because I like to score goals. I like because ever since I was a little kid, that's where I've been playing. But I just play to help the team. I put the team first. So whatever coach thinks is going to be helpful for the team, I'll play. I don't mind. You just mentioned Coach Figueroa and the influence that he's had on you. How close is your relationship like on the field and off the field in terms of, as you said, trusting you and playing all these different positions? And, and how influential has he been to you as a coach? As a coach, like he's a great person and a great coach. And he plays an important role in how I do on and off the field. Our relationship is, I consider to be really good. He's one of the reasons why I came here because our relationship I met him before I got here, and he helps me a lot with uh, school problems, and he always gave me advice how to solve things, how to basically face everything. Now, reading up on you, you were fluent in three different languages, English, Spanish, and Portuguese. Uh, how long have you been fluent in all three of those languages, and, and any, uh, any interest in learning a fourth? Actually, I speak, I'm fluent in four languages, and I know some words in French. Like I started learning English when I got here in 2009 and I'm fluent in Spanish. Like I knew some Spanish back home and then when I got here I started learning more. But the two, the two ones I'm most fluent on are Portuguese and Creole, which is my native language. And lastly, before we let you go, now you guys obviously, you personally and the team just came off a fine year. You're in the beginning of the off season, but looking ahead to next year when you become a junior, is there something that you want to work on most to improve your game to have an even more successful season in 2015? Yeah, there is always room for improvement. And a couple of things I would like to mention is basically like to get in a better shape, like my fitness to get better and to basically get rid of some habits that I have which is gonna basically, if I don't get rid of those habits, I'm gonna carry on to the game, which is basically not gonna help me. It's not gonna help the team at all. And if I get rid of those habits, I know I'll be, have a better performance and uh, that my teammates will have a better performance and the team itself will have a better performance as well. Well, our student athlete spotlight brought to you by the Riverhawk Club. Wilito Fernandez, our guest today. Wilito, thanks for your time. You're welcome. Thank you for inviting me.